Now, people like to stay looking and feeling young for as long as possible. So what can make <coughs> us age quickly and how can one remain youthful? My guests tonight are Helen Panzerino, who's a body and mind transformation coach, and she'll be speaking about her routines to stay young. We also have Clive DeCarle, health and longevity researcher and educator, who'll be sharing his secrets to youth and beauty. And we also have our regular fashion tips from Lisa Marie, who'll be speaking about how to dress your age. Because let's face it, some of us don't get that right sometimes, do we? But anyway, <laughs> we'll also be featuring a little trip to a fabulous spa in Common Garden that Barbara and I visited as well. That will be later on in the show. So if you want to get in touch at any point, if you'd like to ask a question, or if you'd like to share your beauty routines, your skincare routines that keep you nice and young and healthy, you can give us a call on 020 7686 6300. And you can also email chris at chrissybshow.tv. But let's first introduce, you've seen her before, that's Helen. And she's here to tell us, <clears throat> give us all her wisdom, aren't you, about health and beauty? I'll do my best. Welcome back to the show. <laughs> it's a pleasure to be back. Real pleasure oh, to be back. It's lovely to see you again. Yeah. So you brought a few things with, with you here. But first yeah. of all, before we get into that, just can you tell our viewers what you do? A bit more yeah, about what you yeah, do. Yeah, as you said, it's body and life transformation. And having gone through my own transformation and having to create it myself, mm -hmm. being very ill for quite a few years, and then being told there was nothing that they could do for me. Yeah. That was what, a bit was like, it? what was it, the, the problem? I have an autoimmune condition that is related to my thyroid and mm -hmm. I had a very bad flare-up at that time but you it was were quite overweight at one point weren't I you? was yeah. I was uh, 18 stone wow. uh, with no hair and very rough skin and mm -hmm. about 16 hours a day in bed so it wasn't a good place oh, for me gosh. to be and when someone said there's nothing we can do after two years of being misdiagnosed I went on a journey to figure it out for myself and as you know my dad mm -hmm. was unwell and when he died, I came back to the UK from the States and I thought, right, I need to do something positive here. Great. So the and you've really transformed your life since then, haven't you? You're looking have. fabulous. Thank you very much. And you're very, she's very, very energetic, I have to say as well. We have Can't stop a bit dancing. Of a giggle before, trying to stop her from dancing around the sofa just before the, just before the show. That's the Zumba teaching, yeah. isn't it? Because that's, that's also part of, and I did it today. That's oh. part of my day now as well. In the 50 days up to my 50th birthday, I did 50 different things. And one of wow. them was get my Zumba qualification. Oh, wow. Okay. And that is, I mean, I do do a lot of exercise and I really enjoy it. And I love mm -hmm. the effects that it has on my, on my mind, on my body. Yeah. You know, it, 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 there are those endorphins are really pumping and it's a great way to, to get a good feel. That's great. So tell us first of all, Helen, about your skincare routine. You'd yeah. like to share your secrets. I think, you know, when I was in my 20s, I, I probably took it for granted like most people do that. Oh, that, yeah, I know. <laughs> that it's going to last forever and, you know, uh -huh. you don't have to do anything about your skin. And I do love the sun. I still love the sun. Yeah. So I was, I used good, you know, good cleansers and things, but I really didn't do very much more. In my 30s, I was okay. And then in my late 30s, early 40s, and especially when I was ill, my skin really began to suffer. And I actually mm. think it looked a lot worse mm -hmm. uh, than it does now. So now that I'm in my 50s, I'm pretty much, I'm much more aware, but I'm really vigilant and I'm very religious about it as mm -hmm. well. And I will always have, it doesn't matter how late I've been out, how long I've been out, I do not go to bed with the makeup on. That's really I, it's good. It's got to come <laughs> off. It's got to come off. So cleanse and tone. Mm -hmm. So cleansing thoroughly and toning to put the pH balance back in your skin is the way I start my day and the way I end my day. Um, Even so, if you've cleansed and toned the night before? Yes. Okay. Yes. Because overnight... Just clarifying that. Things, although Selma <laughs> Hayek would disagree with me. I, I, <laughs> she says, leave it. Let that, let that. If you cleanse properly the night before, you don't need to. But I do think well, you as do you sleep... Sort of sweat you sweat. Bit, you? Yeah, like, exactly. Get all yeah, some yeah, stuff on you. yeah. So I start again. Yeah. Um, and three times a week at my stage, uh, I exfoliate and I use a mask. And sometimes I will keep the mask on overnight. So it's not a, a harsh exfoliant. I mean, it's quite a... Okay, squeeze out a little bit this particular one. Um, I exfoliate my whole body uh, oh. three times a week. Yeah, yeah. Hang I've on, that's not the, I'm sort of saying, <laughs> hang on, if you keep a mask on your whole body overnight, <laughs> ever, that must be quite messy, but you're talking about, okay, this exfoliate, I get yeah, yeah. Right. Which is a, a fruit-based right. um, exfoliant. So it's not aggressive. It doesn't have those really mm -hmm. harsh particles where you're going to feel as if you've got, you know, bits of sand or grit on your okay. skin. So three times a week you do that? Yeah, right. yeah. And I think that renewing the skin cells, mm -hmm. you know, keeping them bright uh, and keeping them uh, hydrated as well. So uh, we'll leave the mask on at that time. But I think people forget the rest of their body. Yeah. So I start here, but I go all the way down 
because eyes and neck are good giveaways of, of age, but also mm -hmm. it's just nice to have really supple skin. Now, do you normally do the exfoliating in the shower then, or would you? I leave it on beforehand like that, and then just mix it with water and rinse it off, so okay. it's done already. But I would right. probably sit in the bath and do it if I was gonna do, when I do my whole body. Okay. Um, so that, and then once I've cleansed, and this has happened a few times in the week, um, eyes, yeah, yes, sometimes. Like <laughs> and and you know, in different eyes, different way, ages. Thank nice you. Well, we have my Mediterranean eyes. <laughs> you know, the fine lines and wrinkles started to appear. Yeah. Uh, dehydration is probably a problem for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. um, I drink a lot of water. Uh, yeah, me too. So you know, yeah. I'm I'm more internally hydrating as well. But mm -hmm. central heating, things that people use, I, I haven't actually used central heating for about 15 years. So it's not my. Um, do you go around in like thermals? I do. <laughs> I do. I don't like yeah. the drying out. Oh. But you know, sometimes people think they need to moisturize, but actually they need to hydrate. Mm. Right? Your skin might not just be thirsty. It's a similar when we, when we eat something, but actually we should try and see if we're thirsty first yeah. because it's often the case. So the eyes definitely, and either it's a light cream uh, for that one. How often do you do that? Is that daily that you do that? Morning and night, Morning and night as well. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then a, a, just a, a moisturizer for my you know, general, any moisturizer that is in your, you know, that suits mm. your skin, um, that will just get absorbed, easily absorbed into the skin. Mm. Before I put on uh, a primer. Right. Before I put on my makeup. Yeah. <laughs> I only started using primer recently, actually, because I never used it. I just sort of whack on the foundation and that was it. And then I found out, oh, I'm supposed to use primer first. I said, okay. Yeah, it creates yeah. a nice barrier between, yeah. between the, your skin and the foundation so yeah. that it doesn't seep into it. Because actually, I don't really think we want that seeping into our, no. our skin. <laughs> so that it, and, and you get a better, I think you just get a smoother uh, appearance. And, yeah. and again, as I get older, it became more apparent to me that I, I wanted that sort of airbrush look. Can I ask how old you are? You did mention your 50th. Yeah. <laughs> In June, I'll be 53. Really? Wow, yeah. you look yeah. great. Um, you, you know, I, I, don't, I feel about 23. So I think yeah. a lot of that is in my mind as well. I, I don't, um, sometimes I have to remind myself I'm a grown up. <laughs> you know, it's, it's, it can get, get to that stage because I, I, I just think you are, you are. It does have a, an effect mm -hmm. on the way you, the internal feelings that you have come out in, in your eyes, in your mm -hmm. face, in the way you hold yourself as well. Yeah. You know that I meditate twice a day. Uh, so I start my day with the visualization of the way that I want the day to be and the mm -hmm. way I want me to be. And I go to bed the same way. I have a little bit of a review of the day. And mm -hmm. then I think about the next day, what I want it to be also. Right. So, it's, so you've already it's got a, it clear in your mind yeah. what you want. Okay, yeah, that's yeah. Great. So I'm, I'm always trying to positively reinforce in my day. Mm -hmm. I've, I try to find the three good things every day that, you know, that I, I, rather than focus on the negative, I try to focus on the positive, even if it's only three. Mm -hmm. So I'm constantly reinforcing that and of course, this started for me with, with weight loss and with turning my life around, but it, it extends to everything, mm. to my financial life, to my working life. Yeah. You know, it, it does really cover all areas of my life. That's great. So you told us about your skincare routine, the, the, obviously the way that you think. So what about the food, the kind of food that you eat? Yeah. I, I can't, sometimes I can hardly believe the things I used to eat because when I oh, look at them now, <laughs> chicken and bacon sandwiches, not that we're saying anything about chicken and bacon sandwiches no. <laughs> being one but way. But are you ever naughty though? Naughty. Don't I, you go for sort of the odd burger and stuff sometimes and like... I don't, I never have a craving for it. Really? No, no. I think once you, once your taste buds and your body mm. gets on the, the route to, you know, eating, eating things that really are... I, I try not to put too many sauces or things, you know, and to keep it as simple as possible. Yeah. I like grilled foods. I love fish. I love wild Alaskan mm -hmm. salmon. Really love the flavor of it. And I would just grill that, you know, on a plain grill. I love my greens. I mm -hmm. really love salads and green vegetables. Anything with bright colors, peppers, you know, I, I just love the real flavor of them. Yeah. And I'm tasting the real flavor of them. So my taste buds don't actually Did, did you have to way. do like some kind of um, maybe detox to sort of get your, get, you know, get yourself off that stuff or did it just happen <sighs> gradually? Yeah, I think it probably, it took, it probably took about 20 odd days, I would say. From, oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't take long for it, for you to readjust and for your taste buds to readjust yeah. and get rid of the, the craving. I, I'm very lucky I don't have sugar cravings, but I, you know, I, I have known people take chromium. Mm -hmm. uh, to try and eliminate them, but chocolate is not my button. I mm. was more um, falling foul of it with crisps. 
Oh, right, okay. And then that went with wine. Yeah. And so then, <laughs> and then we went down that road. So that, that, that had to really stop for me when I was really determined that I was going to get healthy. I, didn't I mean, it's go good though. When someone sort of is determined, it doesn't, you can just sort of set yourself a target. And then it's good that after just 20 days, you were able to, to come off that. When I was really, I used to drink a lot of Diet Coke this was quite a few years ago. I had to have it with everything. I would literally take the bottle out of the fridge and just swig it. That, that was all I would drink. And then I knew it was unhealthy. So I did like a fast 40 days and I didn't drink anything. I just drank water. By the end of the, the 40 days, I just didn't want, like, I still have it occasionally every now and then. If I have McDonald's or something, I have a Diet Coke. But, um, but I'm, I love drinking water and that's all I drink with my meals yeah. over, you know, over juices yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. I drink a lot of water now. Yeah, yeah, I love yeah, yeah. it. I think a lot of the soft drinks, they have, they have salt in them and they make you more thirsty. Yeah. And so then you want to go back and get more and it's all designed to make you do that. Yeah. So yes, to cut it out of your system. Then it became, it just became a way of it life It horrible me. afterwards actually yeah. when I tried it. Yeah, yeah. I love my water. Tell us about menopause. <laughs> so let's just sort of say that out of the blue, but you know. <laughs> We haven't yeah. covered that on our show before, so I just like you know just like to hear a little bit about it because someone here has been going through it. Yeah, you? unfortunately, it gets to all of us, I suppose, <laughs> at some point. And for me, it was about about a year ago, I suppose. In in earnest, I realised that things were happening to me. Periods were stopping and starting, and then they were stopping. Was well, that a bit like, because some women get quite depressed when that happens because they're kind of thinking, I can't have a baby anymore. Not that they'd want to at that age. Yeah. Normally, but, no, I, it but wasn't, it, I didn't, like, I know. I didn't no. feel that. I didn't feel that. I was just, um, in the very beginning, it was really erratic. And so I'd have a 25-day menstrual cycle for two months running. Oh, that gosh. was annoying. Oh, that's horrible. <laughs> that's annoying. And then it would yeah. stop for months and then it would suddenly reappear and then it would stop for months. And of course, I realized what was happening. Mm. Uh, there were parts of me that were getting a bit more padded out, and nothing was changing. I was still teaching a lot of classes. I was still, yeah. you know, eating the same way. I was still moving, and it, it seems that the estrogen was just taking over mm -hmm. for me. Um, and my gynecologist was very much in the favor of HRT patches, which I'm not in favor of. You know, I try to do everything yeah. I can as naturally yeah. as possible. So oh, I've now been uh, using bioidentical hormones for a little while. Mm -hmm. I was very fortunate. I didn't have interrupted sleep. I didn't have any hot flashes, or I don't yet. I had the mood swings. Okay, tell us about those. So it's a little bit like being a terrorist, and then being really nice. Oh. <laughs> I used to apologize before I started speaking to people. So that, really? and, and that you know was I Did you know they were coming, though, or is it just out of the blue? It, it's, you feel, I felt very sad and weepy. Mm. When when they it was out, they were at their worst, and and that would just be you almost have a, an out of body conversation with yourself where you think I I know this isn't me, but I know this is happening to mm -hmm. me, and I know that I'm about to be really nasty to someone, but I don't mean that. Isn't that annoying? Because you sort of have it when when you're growing up, and then you get your, your menstrual cycle, and then you have PMT, and then it's like you don't get a break from it. No, you, and then you just like, have it for you know continually. Like menopause, and that's yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, it's continual. So you have to like decide not to be moody. Actually, I did that once. I used to be really, really like over emotional. My poor husband, but he he knew like oh, okay, I know it's that time, isn't it? Because I used to be really snappy with him. And one day I thought, you know what? I'm, I know it's coming, so I'm going to make a conscious effort not to let it get to me. Because I used to have like a sort of breakdown every month when I got overloaded with work or something. But I actually worked just by sort of determining and saying, look, it's not going to happen anymore. I'm not going to get like this anymore. It did actually work. I'm still a bit irritable, but not nowhere like I was before. I, I was aware of it and I, you know, you try to, it, it almost is like an uncontrollable, for me it was very uncontrollable and mm -hmm. I, and I, you get, I got slightly depressed, I think some people get more depressed and then of course doctors want to give you antidepressants, which yeah. is the road I was not going to go down. I started using progesterone cream initially, which I just found mm -hmm. on, on the internet for me and that really alleviated most of the symptoms. And then it had to get a little bit more involved and then I had mm -hmm. to get prescribed different bioidentical hormones. Now I'm relatively level. She How says. do you feel about yourself and your body now? Because we've actually got, you brought along a picture, didn't you? Let's have a look. Oh, she <laughs> Joanna. <laughs> Joanna, my Prize picture. Prize the picture. So oh, this, is a, this is a 50-year-old body yeah, or 53. That, yeah, that was, yeah, that was about a year and a half ago, actually. Yeah. And when, when mm. you see that compared to like your pictures when you were in your 20s, I, I'm in much better shape, much really? better shape. Absolute, absolutely. In my 20s, I was, you know, relatively okay average but I, there was not a muscle in my body do you have cellulite no <laughs> gosh <laughs> no how no. do you manage that have you ever had it i did never i ha, uh, no i never had it mm. and now i'm kind of struggling a little bit because you know the estrogen actually 
causes some of this yeah. to happen with you. So I really had to get a grip on that because I've really personal questions. So I just realized what I just asked you on live TV. <laughs> and you said you're like, sorry. <laughs> and I really have been yeah, very, just... very lucky, <laughs> very blessed in life that it wasn't an issue for me. Right. Oh. But I do have a little bit of an understanding now. Yeah. And it's, it's, it's estrogen driven. So I was really okay. trying to, I'm trying to balance out all the hormones again yeah. so that they're not you know, going all over the place. Mm. I'm, I'm incredibly still, as you know, even when we first met, I, I, my confidence level in me is, is still very high and fantastic That's and I'm great. really comfortable with it. Mm -hmm. I'm happy with me and who I am. I'm happy in all my work. And so a woman can great. start at any stage of her life to start being confident and start looking after yeah. herself. I'm not okay, yeah. maybe like the years of taking their toll and stuff, but it's never too late to, to start again, is it? No, I no, really and I think... That. A lot of us are given self-limiting beliefs. Yeah. You know, we inherit them, we carry them around with us, we think we can't do it. Mm. Well, I've messed do... up so far, so there's no point in changing. Yeah. You can always change. Yeah. And things happen yeah. to you that you are, are not in control of. And so you think, well, my body's going all sorts of ways, but then all my friends are doing the same thing, so I'll just go for the ride. Mm. But actually, you need to, to stop and say, yeah. no, I don't really have to be part of this. I can do something about it. Helen, thank you so much. The pleasure, pleasure is always. Me. I love being here. <laughs> Me too. All right. Thank you so much thank for you. all the, you know, all the tips and the secrets. Thanks for sharing everything. Yep. And after the break as well, we're going to be joined by Clive DeCarl, who'll be sharing some vital nutritional tips with us on how to look and stay young. So join us after this. Don't forget to subscribe to The Chrissy B Show. Always aiming to show you the happier side of life. You can find us on YouTube, Facebook and Twitter. Welcome back and we're talking about staying and looking young on the show tonight and now we have Clive DeCarl with us. Welcome back Clive. Thank you very <laughs> lovely much. to have you back. Thank you. So can you tell our viewers for the ones that um, didn't see you last time what you do? Well 25 years ago I got incredibly ill and recovered using minerals and vitamins. And since then, I've investigated spontaneous remission, the people who got better, what did they do right? Mm. Uh, because that was my story. And um, since, uh, since then, I've studied particularly nutrition because it's clear that we eat for nutrition. We don't really eat for calories. We, we eat for nutrient value. And if we want to look beautiful and young, then really it comes from the inside out. And nutrition is buried deep within us and the skin's on the outside. So if somebody's got, let's say, a skin problem, you could say, well, those minerals from the nutrients that they've taken in, first of all, go to the bloodstream and all the in internal organs, and it's only last that they reach the skin. Mm. So people with skin problems, a lot of the time, it's just a mineral deficiency, just a nutrient mm. deficiency. And I found that by giving people soil based minerals that they could get better within often days from all sorts of skin issues. I had, funnily enough, three people last week who said that their eczema had cleared up in three days just because they'd been using magnesium. Oh. And magnesium is in lots of foods. It, it, it's in chocolate, for example. Which I'm going to try later because I don't want to get it all over my face while I'm doing the show. It's very tempting. It looks very tempting, Clive, that one. It is. Yes. <laughs> and there's lots of chromium in there. Mm -hmm. um, the difference between most chocolates and these chocolates is that these ones are raw. They're just simply the, the powdered nut from the cocoa bean. Mm -hmm. And these are made with some uh, fresh fruit. There's banana and lime and strawberry mm -hmm. in here. Now you made these yourself? I made them myself and they're wow. terribly easy. It's, it's yeah. not, not a great skill. It's really easy. They look like truffles. They taste like truffles, really? <laughs> and they've got uh, coconut oil mm -hmm. in them, for Can example, we see those really well? which gives them a, a very luscious sort mm -hmm. of flavour. And they're so nutrient dense that one of them is actually quite filling. And I actually had chocolate for lunch, and it's so healthy, mm -hmm. full of antioxidants, and it makes you feel really alive and gets yeah. your brain working. And good for the morning time, yeah. <laughs> you're trying to wake up. <laughs> it's very good in the morning, Yeah, really now, good. Now, do you drink a lot of water as well? I do, and the quality of the water is crucial because, you know, our blood is made of yesterday's water, if you like. Mm. Now, if you wanted to make some blood, well, 
you'd want the pure blood. You wouldn't want blood with bleach in it. You wouldn't mm. want blood with anti antibiotics in it or some birth control pills or whatever's in the water supply. You'd want pure water. So I would recommend to everyone that if they have a shower, that they use a simple shower filter on the ed mm -hmm. end of their shower. And uh, you could fill the bath with that. And that at the very least, they're filtering their water that they cook with and drink with. What about buying bottled uh, mineral water? Well, it's expensive. And if it's bottled in plastic, it has its own disadvantages. Really? So there's some ways of, some might say that filtering is probably best. Mm -hmm. um, and the bigger the filter, the better. But just the jug filters will take out a lot of the nasty things. Right. And we're 70 to 80% water. So, the, you know, just to do one change in one's life, would have, you could affect 70 or 80 percent of your entire body just by improving the water that you are. Gosh, that's fascinating. That's really like important, isn't it? Because you don't sort of think about sort of the chemicals and things from, from the plastic. You think you're doing something good, <laughs> drinking something that's good for you, when in fact it might not be. You want you, your cells, your brain, for example, to be made of pure yes. H2O. <laughs> you know, that would be nice. And okay. similarly, you know, your skin um, it's mainly water, but the second ingredient is protein. So a lot of people forget, they think, oh, proteins, that's for athletes, you know, to mm. make them strong. But getting out of the, off the sofa can be quite athletic, <laughs> you know. So we need protein, mm -hmm. and we can have protein as cooked protein, but it's far better if it's raw. And surprisingly, vegetables have protein in. Uh, lots of raw foods have protein in, particularly, uh, I mean, the, the seeds and nuts and mm -hmm. so on. Uh, this is hulled hemp seed, which is a very inexpensive way of getting masses of raw protein and a lot of other benefits, full of um, uh, the omega essential fats. You know, the omega essential fats are hugely important. Mm -hmm. we, you know, they call them essential because we have to get them from outside. We have to eat the essential, you know, essential amino acids. Right. And if you want a powerful brain and beautiful skin, the omegas are what? helps Maybe. give it to you mm. along with the protein. And what's this lovely looking thing here? This is dehydrated. Because I thought, I thought, you know, when I first saw it, it looks a bit like, you know, the fried Chinese seaweed that you get in takeaways, buffets. This, what do you think? <laughs> this is kale chips. And kale chips. Now it looks fried, but it's not, is it? It's simply dehydrated. And all you've got to do is set your oven to 43 degrees and you need a good thermometer to, I had one of these to be before, sure of that. It's really yummy. Mm -hmm. And you can flavour it up with anything you like. Mm. So what have you put in, in this? Uh, in there, there are lots of uh, little nuts and seeds. You could put, I put chilli in there, but you could, mm -hmm. oh no, I put um, uh, uh, dry roasted uh, tomatoes. But it could, it <laughs> Sorry, they're just telling me to stop eating. I can't help it. It's quite moorish. Uh, <laughs> Is there sesame Serious sesame seeds. Sesame, yeah. All right, um, I'll have the last one. There are many things you could do. Mm -hmm. It could, could be any type of flavour. And... Lots of children love it. Lots of adults love it. And it's raw. Mm -hmm. This is like eating salad, but it's crunchy. It's really and nice. And it's sweeping the world in popularity. And so you wouldn't think that was actually sort of really good. It does actually look like it's fried and it's such a lovely flavour. Right. You wouldn't think there must be something sort of bad in it, but it's not. No, no, there's nothing bad in mm -hmm. it. And the secret is actually nutritional yeast. Mm -hmm. That's what gives it that flavour. Because really? it, it's That's got a lovely. cheesy sort of flavour to yeah. it. It does, and yeah. that's the yeast, mm. and it's good yeah. for you. Fantastically, full of B vitamins. Mm -hmm. Now I'm intrigued. What's in this bottle? This is. <laughs> no, Helen had a few of these before, didn't she? There's no alcohol in it. No alcohol. <laughs> she got really a bit hyperactive, didn't she? <laughs> Actually, she was fine, <laughs> but she really loved it. I think she had about two or three, did she? She did. Yes. Yeah. So what's what is what well, is that? And what's that for? Um, the exciting ingredient is this, which is. Uh, chaga mushroom and it grows oh. on birch trees and some other trees yeah. the further north you are and you've probably seen it on silver birches for instance like it's like a black mass on the outside of the mm -hmm. trunk sticking out brownie black and it's been known as perhaps the king of medicinal mushrooms and there's a book out called chaga which describes the benefits of this mushroom mm -hmm. and it's amazing not only will it make you make you uh, healthy power up your immune system but it makes you feel alive so uh, i put <coughs> in uh fruit vitamin c powder from mm -hmm. camu camu which is the highest berry or highest fruit with 
vitamin C, just put spoonfuls in, it's fantastic. Mm -hmm. Goes really, really well with chocolate. I put in lots of raw chocolate. And I boiled the chaga with cinnamon for an hour or two. And you can reboil it 30 times. It's incredibly economical. <laughs> And people love the taste of it. Yeah. And if you're feeling brave, you can try yes, some. Yes, I'd like to try some, actually. I'm just, does it leave any residue? <laughs> no, well, it's, it's chocolatey. And yeah. uh, it works well warm or cold. And warm, yeah. it's like hot chocolate. But it's quite rich. And uh, well, just try, it, try some and see what you think. Mmm, that's lovely. Mm. It tastes like um, cold, <laughs> is it cold hot chocolate? Yeah, <laughs> it, it is. It is like yeah, cold hot chocolate. It's lovely. Mm. But... Children like it. Yeah. You can have it. Well, where's but, it getting the sweetness from? Oh, it tastes like it has sugar in it, but uh, it? I put in xylitol, which is again from birch trees. The mm. mushroom comes from birch trees. Xylitol comes from birch bark, and it's a natural sugar. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, good for diabetics. Hardly any carbohydrate in here at all. It's perfect for dieting, and yeah. most supermarkets actually have it. Oh, they do. And have yeah. And I put in a tiny bit of coconut sugar, mm -hmm. which, although it's still a sugar, is so incredibly delicious. If you've yeah. never tried coconut sugar, wow. I haven't. <laughs> now, tell us about this 100-year-old granny. All right, the 100-year-old <laughs> granny. Well, uh, the thing is that how old are we programmed to live for? Well, there are a lot of people in the world who were regularly living to be 100, easy, uh, mm. in the Hunza Valley. Now, look at this. <laughs> she doing that. Why aren't the wrist breaking? Uh, <laughs> Wrists don't have to break. Mm. You know, our, our genetic structure remembers how to make copies of ourselves perfectly. If we've got all the ingredients, we can make perfect replicas of mm. ourselves and stand like that without a problem. What one basically needs is to eat the most varied, nutritionally dense diet one can yeah. find, looking for the foods that really are the highlight foods of the planet. I mean, this one is bee pollen. And uh, you, know the, the, uh, you know the term, the bee's knees? Well, what you see on the bee's knees are grains of pollen. Mm -hmm. And they fly 50-odd miles and visit thousands and thousands of flowers, collect, collect the pollen on the bee's knees, mm -hmm. and this is bee pollen. And it's amazing. It's sweet. Very sweet. Mm. Maybe the, the bee visited 1,000 flowers, maybe 5,000 yeah. flowers, to collect that one piece of pollen. Yeah. And so the nutrient value there is extraordinarily high. That was just like a little tiny seed that I just had, but it had so much flavour. Yes, and, and it's yeah. a complex flavour because mm -hmm. you're tasting lots of flowers. Yeah. And similarly, chocolate is hugely complex. Kale has probably more vitamins and minerals than almost any other vegetable. Um, goji berries. I love goji. Yeah. Goji berries are fantastic for eyesight, mm -hmm. fantastic for all sorts of things that we want more of. They're an aphrodisiac. Chocolate is an aphrodisiac. And all these things, are proteins, make us feel good. See, people expect as they get older just for their bodies to deteriorate. But, okay, I know maybe eventually some things, some things are going to change, but you're actually saying that it doesn't have to. You can still be strong and healthy even in your, in your later years. Oh, very much so. Yeah. And since the Nobel Prize was won for the discovery of telomeres, where for the first time they can measure your cellular aging. And so they can test, they know now know that there are certain foods you can eat that will effectively stop your cellular aging. Mm -hmm. uh, and often the foods that the ancients talked about, astragalus, the Chinese called it the longevity food thousands mm -hmm. of years ago. And now we can measure these things. It turns out it's absolutely it's right. <laughs> People okay, are getting- so We'll go back to the basics, back to the beginning. <laughs> Well, it's all, you know, our ancestors kept us alive yeah, forever. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what we need now to do is to, to cheat somewhat because food isn't what it used to be in our ancestors' age. And if you want to eat safely, you want to eat food really that our ancestors would have recognised, which is food that's as alive as possible. Mm -hmm. If it's in a packet, it's not that alive. Um, Let's go as natural as possible. Clive, thank you so much. We've run out of time. Well, it's so interesting talking to you. But thank you so much for sharing all this stuff. I'm going to eat some of that during the break and make sure I clean my mouth <laughs> before. <laughs> so after the break, we've also got Lisa Marie joining us, who's going to be um, sharing some tips about how to dress age appropriately. So that will be after this. Don't forget to subscribe to The Chrissy B Show always aiming to show you the happier side of life. You can find us on YouTube, 
Facebook and Twitter. Welcome back to the Chrissy B Show. We're still sort of kind of eating, aren't we, Lisa? We are. Was, it wasn't that, that stuff was lovely. That was lovely. So that was a lovely call with us from um, Ancient Purity. And he brought all those lovely things on. That was really, really amazing. That, nice. that, I don't even know what it's called. Sorry, is it fudge, Clive? What truffles, would you call it? Truffles. It? truffles. Clive, there's been like chatting over there. Truffles, was it? That we just had? Chocolate truffles. The yeah. chocolate yeah. truffles, chocolate yeah. Truffles. But the natural yeah. kinds are really, really nice. Okay, so Lisa Marie, yes. you're going to be talking to us about some fashion tips on how I to dress be. age appropriately in just a moment. But first, let's go to Amelia with a couple of emails. Hi, Chrissy. Hello. Uh, we've got a comment here from Marleni, and she says, I'm 39 years old, and most people comment that I don't look my age. The youngest I've been given is 20. I guess it's because I love to look after myself, eat the right food, and going to the gym is something I love. I also think that when you feel young inside of you, you show it in the outside. Thank I agree with that. Thank you very much. Okay, so before we go to Lisa Marie, we've got something else. <laughs> you can have another truffle, what's the problem? That's true. All so right, yeah, okay. Video. <laughs> so um, Barbara and I went along to a lovely spa in Covent Garden and we did get a bit of pampering down on us and a couple of massages. Take a look at this and see what you think. I'm so excited because today we're down in Covent Garden at Thai Square Spa and we're going to have a couple of treatments, aren't we, Bob? And I think we really need some relaxation, so I'm looking forward to it. We're so tired and we really need to, you know, rest a bit, probably fall asleep. Probably, I hope so. All right, let's go inside and see what it's like. Welcome to Thai Square Spa. Um, here we do a lot. We do a lot of treatments. But firstly, I would recommend you to try our Thai herbal teas. Actually, we have eight of them, and they all imported from my country. I'm here with Sarah and she's going to tell us a bit more about this place. So Sarah, that was lovely. So how long, how long has this place been open? Uh, we opened a year and a half. You said that, like, a lot of the decor and stuff as well is from actually from Thailand as That's well. That's right. I can say uh, this spa is uh, the creation of love and passion of my boss. He's so into Thai art and into my country. So he bring everything from my country and create a Thai spa. Tell us about the massage that I had. Tell us a bit about that and what that's good for. Uh, it's called uh, jet, the stone. Some people believe that jet will give the coolness into your body, will, will, will make you feel more relaxed and more uh, get into the state of tranquility. And how about Barbara's one that she did? Uh, she did a uh, Thai herbal healer. It's like a, a dumpling, it's like a hot compress for uh, people who will have a lot of stress. And it's good it's because it will enhance your blood circulation. I noticed you, they were pressing the, the lady was pressing the pressure points, which was quite different. What can you just explain what that's good for? Uh, a uh, pressure pointing is like um, it's, uh, they're gonna know they're gonna drain. They call some some toxin from from your face. It will make your skin more blushing, more blush. Got some red. Yeah, yeah, that, that's right. Yeah, and we do have steam room. It's my favorite part of the spa. You know, can you imagine you are in Covent Garden? It's busy, crowded. When you come to my spa, it's you, you will feel peace. And when you get into that steam room, it's like another world. And we do have a 
couches in the garden, the garden area, which you can relax on if the weather is nice. Is like Sarah, thank you so much. It's been an amazing yeah, experience. Yeah. Really, really enjoyed myself. Yeah. Unfortunately, we have to go back to the office. I might just run away anyway. <laughs> but if you want more information, do visit the Chrissy B website, chrissybshow.tv. tell you something it was really hard to come back and do imagine. a live show that day because I was so relaxed and I think that's something people do kind of tend to miss out of their busy schedule sometimes they 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 don't take time to relax and having those massages it was really nice and relaxing I think that keeps you quite young as well because you you do need to rest and take some time out sometimes totally agree, totally yeah, agree. I loved Doesn't it oh by the way that just want to say thank you to everyone there because they were so so hospitable I loved all of them they were really great to take a trip there myself. Yeah, yes, you will. <laughs> <laughs> so kind of continuing on with like the theme of the, the show about people looking younger. Um, I find that a, uh, an area that some people tend, when they get a bit older, not to, they don't know how to dress is, so when they get older, they sometimes don't know how to dress age appropriately. Mm. And by that, I mean that sometimes they think they can't wear what is in fashion now yeah. because they think they might be too old for it might be you know that should have passed them by and i totally totally disagree i think there's plenty of fashions that are out there now that are able to be worn by all ages it's just about dressing age appropriately okay tell us about that because i do <laughs> struggle with that sometimes well I'm some, I, I look at so i try something and i said no that's too young for me that's not me anymore maybe no. in my 20s or my teens but. so all the outfits i've chosen were with um kind of when I say older ladies, I don't mean like every, you know, yeah. the more walking mature. sticks. More mature ladies, <laughs> that's the word. Okay. So, as in, like, so these I think can be worn by people 40 plus as well mm. as younger. It's just about being applicable to your size, your age, and also what you feel comfortable in. Mm -hmm. But there's also that people need to jump a little bit outside of the comfort zone because again, we tend to be very safe when there's so many different things out there. So, I've kind of gone for shops that are not just exclusive to younger people mm -hmm. but it can be for you know for anyone so places like wallace like um dorothy perkins like next as well as mixing it up um, mm -hmm. so wallace places like that because the people tend to think of those kind of shops as as for a more mature lady but you can also find things i said that are fashionable mm -hmm. but it's just about making it to your own age yeah Okay. Um, so first my one. first look, because obviously Christmas is coming up. Yes. So for people thinking about Christmas parties and things like that. So this is an Oriental style dress from Dorothy Perkins at oh, £39.50. And mm. the great thing about this dress is it's one of my favourite type things where it's, it's a sculpting dress. Mm -hmm. So the black around the outside will help give a shape and being black as we know it kind of gives that illusion of being slimmer. And obviously if, it, the, if you want to look slimmer that is. Some with, with what you love their curves. I love my curves, yeah. but you still want to be, you know, can be a <laughs> yeah, bit streamlined. Yeah. <laughs> and the red is then drawing your eye into the middle. So mm. it's being, so it's streamlining you and bringing people's attention then to the best That's part in the middle. Is. And yeah. obviously that pattern on there is great. And if you are a kind of person who has a type of boyish figure, that, mm. um, the, the line waist. across the waist, it is giving you a waist as well. Mm -hmm. So, and really great colour. Um, these shoes, as you well know, I love a heel. I think it looks amazing. And a heel as well helps you to look taller. I think slimmer, elegant, helps you walk mm -hmm. better. Um, so that's £35 also from Dorothy Perkins. Nice little bracelet to bring that look together. £15. Again, I've got it from Dorothy Perkins. <laughs> One stop shop. And that bag and is bag? £40 from Oasis. Oh, so okay. we're going a bit different. Oasis. <laughs> um, and I think Dorothy Perkins ran this time as well. Place, place, uh, places like Arcadia stores. So BHS. Wallace, Evans, Dorothy Perkins, they've been having up to 30% off days. Mm -hmm. So they just had it Thursday, Friday, and I know leading up to Christmas, they tend to do it again. So watch out for those as well, because you can, you know, I think the dress was like down to 20 something pounds oh. um, with that 30% off. So yeah. watch out for the next one and then head down okay. there. Okay. Uh, so my look two. Now for some people, they might think, oh my gosh, I could never do that. Absolutely rubbish. Peplum top, £18 from Next. As we know, mm. I love a good peplum. Um, it cinches you in at the waist and then the peplum part, the hem part, then will kind of smooth over lumps and bumps if you don't mm. like your tummy, if you're kind of like unsure about your hips because it's a longer peplum as right. well. It's going to look a bit better. Um, and then we've got this gold skirt from, um, from also from Next, sequin skirt, and that's £45. So it's another way of introducing a nice bit of colour um, and also with the peplum, it will kind of like hide if you if you don't like your hips. Because I know mm. some people 
they're a bit iffy about that. So the peplum will hide that bit while still letting you have that pop of colour. Um, and it's just a bit of an alternative to break it up rather than having a, a dress. Yeah. Because um, also then you can take those separates and do what you like with them to mm -hmm. introduce it to another outfit. Um, the necklace that is there is from Wallace and that's £10. So nice gold and black continuing that theme as well. The shoes are from New Look and they are £24.99. And the bag is an absolute bargain from Primark at eight pounds. Oh, that's lovely. Lots of lovely beading there. And you can, again, a lot of... All see, I can see younger and, and more mature women wearing that outfit, and this definitely. Is, it can be for anyone. So for a younger person as well, you might want to wear that top with a nice pair of skinny jeans, mm. different pair of heels. You know, it's all about making it age appropriate. I, I'm a big believer you don't need to suddenly... Just because you get, I don't know, say 40, for example, that you can't wear what's in fashion. Mm -hmm. 50 and you can't wear what's in fashion. It's just about making it appropriate. I think most people can wear peplum, whatever age, yeah. but it's about making sure that you are going for the right things. I wouldn't expect like to be seeing somebody in something really super tight and, uh -huh. you know, like, we'll see like the body contact thing. I think that is best left to somebody who is younger. Just do it age appropriately. So we've got a fitted yeah. skirt but it's not like so tight that you look like, mm -hmm. a, you know, the phrase mutton dress yes. man. <laughs> no, it's age appropriate, but I think it still looks fashionable. So you wouldn't immediately see the outfit and think, oh, that can only be worn for a more mature person. Anybody can get oh, away with that. Great. It's all out there. So my third outfit, introducing again colour, because I know not everybody likes colour, but I think it's Christmas. You've got to get a bit sparkly mm -hmm. and a little bit. And these heels were just so amazing. I had to work everything around it. So, can anyone um, really walk in those? So I bet you can. <laughs> easy. The great you thing... You have to give, us, give me walking lessons in heels, please. <laughs> uh, one day we will. It's so okay. easy. Because a lot of these heels that are out there now, there's a hidden platform. So when that heel yeah. there, it's got a hidden platform. So... When you kind of, oh, it just you, looks like the heel's going to break. Uh, if you were to take anything over <laughs> anything over sort of six stone, you might have sort not of go. at all. No. If you are, um, if you took a ruler, for example, and from the top of that platform and put it across to the heel, there's probably around about three inches, mm. rather than the five to six inches that it looks like if yeah. it was just done by itself. Walking in heels, it does take practice. And, and this is what I always say, that if you can't manage it, so you try it on and you can't do it, don't do it. Mm -hmm. Especially if you've never walked in heels that are that high before. Because what happens is, no one looks at you and thinks, oh my gosh, those heels are amazing. They're thinking, oh, she can't walk in those heels. <laughs> so always just try practice. I remember for my sister's wedding, and I'm going off topic a bit, but I had a pair of heels but didn't have a platform and it was about that high so what that I did was I well but they were fabulous so <laughs> it was like I had to have them everyone had to see it because I was wearing a shorter dress um, and I so I walked around my house in them for a, a few days beforehand so that when it came to the day I was all right and I was in I made sure everyone saw their shoes I was in them from like 11 <laughs> 30 till about 7 30 oh at night God. so everyone saw them so it's fine as I could kind of put on my yeah, I still yeah. had another pair of heels but I still put another pair of heels for okay so you might as well change the pair of flats and you just put on another pair of heels of that's just Lisa Marie all, all, all around <laughs> so heels go with everything so okay. <laughs> Those ones, they, when you put them on, you do find that a stiletto heel, it is easy to walk in. You just need to practice. Okay. That is the key. So they are from um, javari.com by Sam Edelman. They're not, and I think they're actually due to come on the website this week. Um, and they are £52.97. Mm -hmm. So, and on that, the back of that heel, there's a lot of studding there. So the trousers that I've chosen to go with this are crop turn up so that you can show all of that fabulous heel. And We've run out of time. No. No, do we, do you have more after this? I just want no, to see this the pictures. No, this is it. Okay, this so is finish it. this, this is it. one then. So the turn-up trousers are <laughs> £22 from Matalan. We've got the beaded top, £45 from Wallace. And the blue clutch is £30 at the Kardashian collection at Dorothy Baggins. That's lovely. Well, you said that really fast. <laughs> okay. Oh, thank you, Lisa Marie. No that was lovely. So you can look beautiful and be in fashion whatever Doesn't matter your what age. age. Now, some people think that as they age, their life isn't worth much anymore. They think maybe because they're not looking as like they were before, that they're not valuable. But I really do beg to, dif to differ because your mature years means that you've had lots of experience yeah you've mm -hmm. made mistakes but you've learned from them too and you have a lot to pass on to the younger generation as well and probably not making the same mistakes as you were before you know you've learned a lot so I think it's a really sort of nice time as well not to not to people offer people to dread 
getting old or anything like that. You're still young inside and that's the main thing, right? Exactly. So thank you for watching. Thank you, Lisa Marie. No problem. Thank you guys for watching. And we will be back again on the next Chrissy B show. That will be on Monday. We'll be talking about Christmas on a shoestring and how not to overspend and still make this Christmas a memorable one. So have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. And if you want more information about the show, you can visit chrissybshow.tv. And don't forget to join the Chrissy B family. Details are on the website. Bye-bye for now. I'm so excited because today we're having a spa day, aren't we, Barbara? I'm so excited. It's, we're at Thai Square Spa in Covent Garden and it's um, tucked away. It's a lovely place. But I don't know that because we haven't actually been in there yet, have we, Barbara? No, we haven't. Let me do that bit again. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I'm so excited because today we've come down to Thai Square Spa because we're going to have a few facial treatments and stuff, aren't we, Bob? And we need some rugs, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so excited because today we're down in Covent Garden at Thai Spa Square Spa. Spa Square. Square Spa. Thai Square Spa. Thai Square Spa.